PrisonPlanet.tv. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. It is hour number four. If you're watching the radio show at PrisonPlanet.tv, we're showing screenshots of one of the great books uh, put out by the Health Ranger. Mike Adams here in studio with us. He's like, don't plug my books. Don't plug. I'm not here for that. But I'm going to plug them. Natural Health Solutions and the conspiracy to keep you from knowing about them. Mike Adams, America's number one consumer health advocate. Uh, those are available at naturalnews.com. Uh, spam filters for your brain how to navigate through the lies, hype, and mind games of food, drug, and cosmetic industries. Mike Adams, all available at his website. I think I ought to carry your books and videos uh, at... Uh, Infowars.com, because I know they're amongst the best research out there. We do have uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Smith's mat uh, material uh, uh, dealing with the genetic roulette and all the GMO and the rest of it. Now, this is a short segment. I want to fire the phone number out for listeners. If you have a question or a comment for Mike Adams, you won't need those headphones yet. We're gonna we'll, we'll go to calls in about ten minutes. One eight hundred two five nine ninety two thirty one. One eight hundred two five nine ninety two thirty one. Specifically on all these major health issues that we are talking about, uh, but they really are Mike trying to bully us into saying, "Okay, radiate me." Uh, at checkpoints. Okay, don't let me know I'm eating GMO. Okay, shut down a company that shows the mainline studies that palm granite is just full of incredible antioxidants and all this other stuff in it. But you've got a bunch of other issues that dovetail with that. Meanwhile, they're saying feed babies GMO soy that's half sugar. Okay, yeah, uh, a lot of a lot of people heard about the product. It was a voluntary recall by the the maker of infant formula called Similac. Here is. Uh Here's a product shot right here, Similac. And this, this, uh, the company said, well, some of the containers may have beetles or beetle larvae in them. And I got to thinking, well, what else is in there? Because I'm not sure that the beetles are the most dangerous thing in the, in the can. That might be the only thing, good thing in there. Right. <laughs> My, <laughs> bugs are actually pretty good. The only nutritious thing in it is the beetles. So I, I went out. It's kind of like, you know, like the prize in a uh, Cracker Jack box is the beetle. Huh? Oh, something edible. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> Living foods, right? Uh -huh. So uh, anyway, I, I bought this and I, I took a look at the ingredients label and it just shocked me, Alex. It freaked me out. And, and I've seen a lot of crazy foods. But this label says, look, look at the number one ingredient on here. 42.6% corn syrup solids. That's number one. But that's what a baby needs is 42.6% uh, corn syrup, because everybody knows how good corn syrup is. Uh, what are you, some kind of conspiracy theorist? Uh, I guess so. And on top of that, 10.1% sucrose, which is essentially table sugar. Well, you wonder why the public's so dumb. They've been getting fed this for decades. I talk to people, and they're like zombies. Well, Pretty soon, if you can tie your shoelaces, you'll be a rocket scientist. And here's the kicker. This formula... As far as I know, and I, I asked around, but this formula is covered under state WIC programs. So you can use government money to feed your baby this. Well, notice how they incentivize. You only have money, uh, 43 million Americans on the food stamps, but it's only good for this. Well, exactly. You, can you will buy. feed them 42.6% corn syrup. Yep. Oh, and, and also what else is in here is soy protein. It's 14.7%. Doesn't that have estrogen mimickers? Well, there was a study done by Consumer Reports back in 99 on this brand oh, hmm. that found evidence that it's genetically modified soy. Oh, And you notice there's no label that says non-GMO. Well, that would be evil. <laughs> right. So you're not allowed to know what's in there. You think you're in a free country, pal? This is what our baby This is for our exactly. poor children. They, a baby needs 42.6% corn syrup in their diet. Come on, man. It's crazy. It's insane. I mean, I mean, next they'll say, hey, just give babies Coca-Cola. <laughs> well, they remember they tried that in the 70s. Hey, wait a minute. What? Guys, go get, uh, I guess there is no Coca-Cola in this office. Can somebody run to the store and buy a Coca-Cola so we can see what percentage of it? I would imagine that if Coca-Cola is not per volume, 42.6%. Uh, uh, fructose corn syrup? Yeah, I bet this is a lot higher than a Coca-Cola. Well, the Coca-Cola bottle is probably not going to stay the percentage. It's just yeah, but you can see per volume and then the yeah. uh, the uh, the grams. No, this 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 is extremely high in sugar. But it's got a teddy bear on it. Exactly. 
Exactly. So that means <laughs> it's safe for kids. Look at that teddy bear. Looks happy. It's crazy. And, and actually, in the big studies, uh, when they fed GMO corn to the uh, gerbils, they did grow hair uh, from inside their mouth. Maybe that's a good thing. In fact, it'll be a conspiracy theory if you don't have hair growing in your mouth. The food storage industry leader has done it again. Introducing FDG Clubs and Survival Bucks from the Freeze Dry Guy. For over 39 years, the Freeze Dry Guy has served various government agencies and the private sector with the finest in storable foods and emergency rations. If you've wanted to build emergency food supplies but couldn't afford it, now you can. Go to freezedryguy.com, click on products, and look for the Freeze Dry Guy Clubs to pay as you go. Now you can build food storage without going into debt. Choose from a payment range of $95 to $450 per month. Our clubs work with everyone's budget. Plus, when you join Freeze Dry Guy clubs, you'll get additional rewards. For example, this month, get 10% back in survival bucks on all purchases in the Freeze Dry Guy product line, plus free shipping within the lower 48 states on any order amount. Hurry, go to FreezeDryGuy.com or call 866-404-3663. That's FreezeDryGuy.com or call 866-404-3663. The Freeze Dry Guy, the best you can buy. The question is, where should the American people draw their line in the sand? What have we got? A republic or a monarchy? A republic. It's based on a constitution which protects minority rights. It's not democracy, not mob rule, two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. So they think they own our land, they think they own our water, children, our education, our money. We have to define who we are and what we will tolerate. Somebody's going to ask you what you did during the Patriot Uprising. You have been warned. We have the facts. We have the Constitution. We have the Bill of Rights. We have common law. Knowledge is power, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm so excited to be able to offer you, don't tread on me, rise of the Republic. Tyranny is upon us, but liberty and the sleeping giant that is the American people is rising. A new tool in the InfoWar. Don't tread on me. Order it at InfoWars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or call toll-free 888-253-313. And support independent, patriotic Liberty Films. Attention, an important product from HempUSA.org, Microplant Powder, will change your life by removing all types of positive toxins, such as heavy metals, parasites, bacteria, viruses, and fungus from the digestive tract and stomach wall so you can absorb nutrients. Microplant Powder is 89% silica and packed with a negative charge that attracts positive toxins from the blood, organs, spine, and brain. This product has the ability to rebuild cartilage and bone, which allows synovial fluid to return to the joints. Silica is a precursor to calcium, meaning the body turns silica into calcium and is great for the heart. There is no better time than now to have micro plant powder on your shelf or in your storage shelter. And with an unlimited shelf life, you can store it anywhere. Call 908-691-2608 or visit hempusa.org. It's a great way to change your life. So call 908-691-2608 or visit us at hempusa.org today. We are on the march. The Empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Okay, Mike, uh, you know, I was having some gallows humor there, uh, joking about uh, that uh, baby formula powder. But look at all the scandals in Africa and Asia where you'll have tens of thousands of kids die because the government didn't mix the formula right. And, you know, you look at children now, they admit the U.S., and you can pull up mainstream articles, the IQ's down 10 to 20 points depending on what study. And, I mean, literally, they won't hire cops under 100 IQ. They want dumb people. And, 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 and I think back to being in, in – because I have three children – and just reading the labels on things like Pedialyte where it's – Aspartame. <laughs> right. uh, but, but so, I mean, go back over this without me making sick jokes about it. I, I mean, really talk about what's in this stuff and then the other issues you wanted to cover. Then we're going to Annie, Ruth, Tim, Diane, Jeff, and others. Well, no, I mean, you made a good point. I mean, if you want to see some crazy stuff out in the stores, look at children's medication, over the counter medication for kids. It's loaded with aspartame, it's loaded with artificial colors. The cough syrups are a complete joke. I mean, even some of the health regulators say that they don't even work. And they could actually harm your children. Uh, it, it's what they feed kids, what they manufacture for you to feed your kids in this country 
should be a crime. Well, they, I mean, it, it, it's like when you go onto the store shelves and it's fluoride for your kids. Yes. Back to school, baby fluoride, increased fluoride. When that reduces IQ, bone cancer, I mean, they're clearly targeting them. Well, absolutely they are. But, but, I mean, go back over this loving. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, Document I, I cam. you said most of the stories. Here, I'll, I'll hold it up again. This is, this is over 50% sugars, according to what's on the label that I'm reading right here. So 42.6% corn syrup solids, 14.7% soy protein isolate, and another 10.5% sugar. And then it's got some safflower oil, some soy. Excuse me, it's 42.6% corn syrup, high fructose, and then there's a more sugar? Exactly. Another 10%. So that's 526 this is over 50% sugar. Now, if you want it, <laughs> I mean, who would, what mom would go into the kitchen and say, I want to mix up a recipe for my babies and, let, and throw in 50% sugar and mix it up and, and put that in a bottle and let their baby. Here's some GMO soybeans, honey. He, uh, here's some uh, Roundup Ready soybean. Here's some, here's 52.6% uh, sugar pumpkin cake. Now, think about this. You've got child protective services in this country going after parents who will choose a living foods diet for their children. Or if they get too much, quote, sun. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Or if you don't vaccinate your children, you're considered a bad parent. But you can feed your babies this stuff, 50 percent sugar, and you're a good parent. But, I mean, let's zoom in on that, though. Folks, show the teddy bear. Why, you, why, do, you, why, why do you want to hurt the teddy bear? Well, this is, you know, teddy bear marketing. It's all about symbolism. It's all about image and not substance. Because I, I would not want to put this, you know, Similac, go and grow, soy-based formula. Well, I, I, I think it's wonderful stuff. <laughs> no, I mean, really. I, in fact, oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> hold on a minute. Oh, little, little, <laughs> got the little bear there. Wants to be little... Little Teddy, there he is. Look, he can walk. <laughs> he's he's fourteen years old and just learned how to walk. He's one of the most advanced humans. Mm -hmm. He's been on. I'm sorry. No, you, you're right to make fun of it. And if you think about children today, they have a nature deficiency because most kids in America are vitamin D deficient. There was research that recently came out showing that microbes in the soil actually make you more intelligent. So if you go out and you play in the dirt. You're smarter than the kid that lives in a sterile environment drinking 50% sugar. Well, I mean, they learned that with the bubble boy. Uh, I mean, literally, I'm, I'm real clean. I take two showers a day. But uh, at the same time, I mean, I'll eat a piece of pizza off the floor. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, you know what? I, I mean, I'll sometimes if I've, you know, I've been hunting and I'm gutting a deer, I'll just slice off. A, you know, you know, I'll pull the heart out, slice up. <laughs> you ever eaten raw deer heart? Uh, no, that's not. I uh, haven't done that, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, I, I mean, I'm somebody who I, I almost never get sick unless it's allergies. And all the major studies are showing that's connected to the GMO I've eaten over my life, that that triggers them. Well, that's exactly it. You and I both have a history of some toxic foods before we sort of woke up, you know, to, to what's really out there. Before I woke up and ate those cocoa puffs for lunch. <laughs> oh, man. I'm joking. I know you are. Mm -hmm. I didn't see a box of cocoa puffs here in this. That's because they ate them. But <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring that on next time and talk about the sugar and cocoa. I'll tell you, Jaron's the greatest example of health in this office. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, but a lot of us, even, even people who choose a healthy lifestyle, today they have some toxicity from the past and whose fault is this it's again it's this conspiracy between the government regulators and the food industries and the pharmaceutical industries that don't want you to know they they go to great lengths to keep you uninformed and misinformed well that's like uh, i tell people this five years ago they didn't believe me now it's even cnn but they report it like it's good oh there's a type of silicone in your McNuggets and in most of your processed foods, right. what's, wrong with, what's wrong with a petrochemical? You're supposed to drink crude oil. Well, here's another example. Go out and buy blueberry bagels or blueberry bread. You'll find that most of those blueberries are not made out of blueberries. They're made out of three ingredients, partially hydrogenated oils, liquid sugars, and artificial food colors. That's good for your heart. E exactly. Right, Petro. Good for look at that teddy bear. He looks good. They should put some blueberries in in the formula right here, along with the Beatles. Blueberry sugar formula. Blueberry Beatles. That could be a new a new brand for them. <laughs> exactly. 
And some of them have propylene glycol in it, and that's the stuff that you use to winterize RVs. What's wrong with that? <laughs> well, it's great for RVs. Well, I mean, what about when a cat drinks antifreeze? It's good. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't want my my kids drinking it. But that, that's this is the kind of stuff that people need to.